Kelly Stewart is the consummate hockey mom who over the past two years has rarely missed a Prince Albert Raider hockey game. It's the privilege of being, I think, a fan favorite, so it's really exciting to see these young guys doing what they're here to, uh, to do. She doesn't even mind the fact that Mackenzie is an enforcer. Well, I don't worry too much about um, not having to hit people. That's his job, and he's comfortable with it. I think it's more, as a parent, you know, you know how hard these kids can be on themselves. They have pretty high expectations uh, of themselves. And so sometimes when you're watching them, you can tell when they're happy with their performance and when they're not. And I think I get nervous when I can tell that he's, he's anxious. Mackenzie Stewart has already beaten the odds just to make it to the Western Hockey League. Deaf as a child, the 19-year-old from Calgary didn't even start playing sports until his hearing was restored at age 12. I always wanted to be active as a kid and outside and, and playing sports, whether it was soccer, baseball, hockey, but um, I think I really started to grow a passion for it when I was around the age I started playing and just uh, really started to crave to play it. Colleen says Mackenzie never saw his childhood impediment as an obstacle. Because for him, um, I think it was more a vision. That boy, as a little person, uh, truly, truly knew where he was going and what he was doing, and there just wasn't anybody that was taking him off that mark. Mackenzie's desire just to play the game he loves fueled him to progress to the point of becoming a member of Calgary's prestigious Edge School, where he was scouted and listed by the Prince Albert Raiders as a free agent. It took almost two years of hard work with many games as a healthy scratch before Stewart became a Raider regular under the guidance of associate coach Dave Manson. He's always believed in me, I think, from day one, came to camp, and uh, he's taught me some really good lessons just about the game and off the ice and how to be as a person and professional. And um, like I couldn't ask for a better mentor as a D coach. Uh, he's pretty much taught me almost everything I know at this level and what it's going to take to become a, an NHL person. Manson says Stewart's skills have steadily improved because of his attitude and work ethic. He was, he was willing to do anything, play forward, uh, be an energy guy, play five minutes a night, you know, whatever we asked of him, Mackenzie was willing to do. Mackenzie, who was named the Raiders' most inspirational player for 2014-15, says his mom has been a major influence in his life. She's really my rock, I think, um, there mentally, and for me, uh, she's my biggest cheerleader, and she's always there supporting me, doing what it takes to, uh, to help me out, and uh, just one of the best parents you can ask for as a single mom, raising me and uh, teaching me life lessons. Um, I, couldn't, uh, I couldn't ask for a better mom, I guess. In addition to traveling to most Raider games despite the distance, Colleen even prepares the food packed into a huge cooler for Mackenzie's road trips. She helps me cook <laughs> like pretty much every week and pack that thing for the road. Colleen is immensely proud of the hockey player and young man Mackenzie has become. For so many reasons. First, because he's an extraordinary human being and, and a wonderful young gentleman. And I think he's uh, working really hard at being a tremendous hockey player and I believe his vision is going to come true. The odds are very long for any WHL player to make it to the NHL. But given Mackenzie Stewart's desire, coachability, work ethic, and strong support system, I wouldn't have bet against him wearing that Vancouver Canucks jersey one day in a regular season game. For WHL Live, I'm Drew Wilson.